I'm back. <laughs> I am back. After being away on vacation for the last week and a half, almost two weeks. And it's time to get back to some What's On Deck. What's On Kickstarter. I'm going to be doing, because it's been a while, there's probably a lot to talk about. I'm going to do one video for Kickstarter. And another one, just for other general playing card stuff. And I'll talk a little bit more about my trip in that one as well. And then, on Sunday, I will get back to my regular schedule with what's on deck videos and just, you know, catch up on stuff in between now and then. So, let's see what is going on on Kickstarter that I've missed. There's definitely some stuff that I've missed. <laughs> like, for instance, the Deuce Joint Playing Cards from Doc's Playing Cards. It says it's a numbered Kickstarter-only edition deck. Uh... Is it me or is everyone trying to cash in on the whole Jerry's Nuggets craze going on lately? It is funded 28 days to go. Weird thing is, I've seen this. I got emails the last the other day, and I got another email today. And there's nothing to click on an email to, to take me to the project. It's really unprofessional. If you're going to, you know, advertise something, promote something in an email, at least let me go to the project so I can see it. And I went to the website, I clicked on the one link, it just takes you to the website, docsplaincards.com, and again, no link to the project. Anyway, it is very much like a Jerry's Nuggets deck, it's made to be, uh, it's basically a speakeasy supper club casino deck, is what it says there. There's also lots of information, it's a fixed casino opened in 1958. Apparently had the best accommodations, world class entertainment. And the highest gambling limits in town. <laughs> and of course, it was in Las Vegas because that's where the casino tech apparently is from. Uh, I mean, looks like it's a Nor Atlantic City and anywhere else that might be known for casinos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I got taken over by organized crime figures. <laughs> and then every man hiring card and dice mechanics to turn things around. The house always won until the FBI, FBI came knocking. Ah, they were cheaters. He pays homage to a rare 1970s version of silver nugget point cards. Always like put on the same stock as Jerry's Nuggets. Unlike Jerry's Nuggets, the silver nuggets were never sold in gift shops that are very rarely found. Unopened. I never even heard of them before in my life. <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's, you know, it's a casino back design. 14 bucks US for one deck and a sticker. Yay, gotta have the sticker. And again, I mean, it, it is what it is. Probably something I'll pick up at some point in time. It's not on the project. Static Quartz. It says beautiful AOS. You know, that is poor, um, grammar in my opinion. What? Some people are going to come in here and going to be like, what the hell is an AOS? You, you can't do that. you got to put Ace of Spades. You're going to put it down. Don't do like that. Don't abbreviate it. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Magicians are going to know what AOS means. Some collectors and whatnot. Cards are going to know what that means. But other general people are not going to know what AOS means. Nice chuck case. Um, by the way, as well, there are stretch goals. There's a stretch goal for a letter press deck, which is unlocked. Gilded deck at $8,500. A black deck at $10,000. Custom brick box is $11,000. And a gold edition at $15,500, which I'm not sure if they're going to hit. But the black one they should unlock, and that should help them get up there. Uh, oh, you can get cheaters dice as well. Yay. One thing I will say as well is... um. Not so, I'm not sure about that either. Why is Art of Play fulfilling it? You are a playing card website. You do fulfillment. You can't fulfill a project. Just a little bit weird. But you have to choose somebody else to do fulfillment for you. And, um, the other thing I want to say is it says beautiful AOS, but they don't bother to show you the AOS, the Ace of Spades. Why? <laughs> Why not show it to us if it's so beautiful? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Feel like I'm being overly negative. 
I apologize. I'm not trying to be. It's an okay deck. It's just there's been so many casino ripoff decks and reprints like the Nuggets recently. Uh, it's just getting ridiculous. Next, we have the Emperor Point cards by Penguin Magic to try it again. And the third project that they've tried recently, well, it's fun this time around. It's 59% for 27 days to go. Now, when I first saw Emperor, I was thinking, you know, like Japanese type deck or something. It's not, it's the Emperor Penguin, which is fine. And actually, it makes kind of sense. So, Penguin Magic, why not Emperor Penguin? <laughs> it totally makes sense. Designed by Mark Stutzman, who of course has done decks for, uh, most notably, um, David Blaine. It's got a pretty big goal as well. $20,000 US. Seems a bit high of a goal, but they're almost halfway, over halfway there. We'll see if they get that. It's going to be printed by Expo Point Cards. I don't know why they couldn't print them through USB-C or even print them with a much lower goal. It's a nice classic looking back design. Nice ace of spades. And the rest is standard. From what I've seen, there's also a gilded deck and a box set and coin. And you know, I think it's cool, worth taking out. How much is one deck again? Oh, yeah, I think it was a reasonable price. I do believe I pledged for it. It is. Nine bucks US for one deck. That's not bad. Moving on, we have a deck with no name. A unique decks of point guards suiting the needs of magicians by Astro Vi. <laughs> or whatever. It's 38% funded, 35 days to go. Massively low go, from the looks of it. $2,500 go. Um, there's going to be magic markings, reveal the suit and value, fermentals and tricks, gilded decks, but feral suffering friendly. I, how do you make it gilded but also feral friendly? I, I don't buy that. Especially with a goal of $2,500 and a printer that I believe is unnamed. One unique joker, you'd think you'd make it two. Uh, you know, duplicate tokens from the distance. Traditional faces, unique case of spades, with the matching back of card design, whatever the hell that means. Cross casino grade, B stock. Poor grammar again. <laughs> B stock is two words, not one, and B should be capitalized. Eric and finished traditional cut, stacked in the Monica order, limited some plenty. It's gonna be printed by USBC apparently. Um, hmm. It looks like a rip-off NOC deck with a bit of a pattern or a texture to the background. And in red, blue, and green. A Russian blue, sapphire red, and emerald green with silver gilding on two of them, gold gilding on the red. How very interesting. Now, the green one, you can actually see the details from the distance. The red and the blue, not really. It's not that image. I guess the... the, the Name of the deck is the Cubex. And I'm going to have Metallic Finish. And I just don't like it to me. I don't trust this creator with a gold value for a USB-C printed deck. I... Don't like that there's a... Okay, there is a... a uh, cheer for one of each color. You can now get two uh, different colored ones. You either have to get one, or you have to get three of one color, or three one of each color. <laughs> just kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I just don't really like it. It's interesting. I don't like the the borders though, not being white. That's the faces. I don't know. You don't even see the faces or the aces page again. <laughs> anyway, moving on.
Now there's also a luxury leather point card carrier from the Tuao Electronic Business Company. Nothing electronic about this creator. It's absolutely 100% a TCC account. One of many that they've done. It is funded nine days to go. I think it's weird that they're also using nuggets, golden nuggets in this case, to help promote their product. Again, trying to jump on that Jerry's Nuggets casino deck craze. And has been going and... Whatever. It, it looks like a lever envelope for playing cards. Moving on. BTS X BT21X playing card by BT21 Lover. 50% funded, 34 days to go. Don't like the chances of this one. I don't know anything about what this... Well, BTS, isn't that... It's something YouTube like it, isn't it? I'm thinking, I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> it's cartoons, basically, though. It's goofy looking. Definitely a one like that design. Very low goal. $2,000 Australian. One with that design. Borderless. 25 bucks for one deck. No. I don't know who would pledge for that. Apparently one person has pledged for that too. Has pledged for two decks and one has pledged for four. That's why it's not going to fund. Because it's way too freaking expensive. And nobody's interested. Plus. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, I think, that the figures, these are little cartoon characters in the one corner of the cards, from the looks of it, and in the opposite corner as well. Court cards is a bunch of characters all together. <sighs> Premium card collection, which illustrate by me. Oh, special? That's a special. <laughs> um, doesn't say who's producing them, so that's a major pass for me. Anyway, plus I would think that this stuff would have copyright issues. Moving on, Midnight Sapphire Anonymous Playing Cards by Antoinette. 13% funded, 25 days to go. Okay, six to $200 goal. One of a kind deck. We'll see about that. First project. For one dollar, you get access to some kind of private online midnight elite group, whatever the hell that means. Ten bucks, you get a certificate. Twenty bucks, you get an autographed picture of whoever this person is. A personal biography and a special thank you. Is there a deck of cards? Sixty bucks for a deck of cards. Are you out of your flipping mind? That's not that one one of a kind. And I mean, everything else is like, you get this, you get that. I really don't care to pay money to see your face. I really don't care what your face looks like. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, interesting artwork. I doubt it's original. I'm just saying, it's just all sorts of weird stuff going on. Is that, oh, I see they're hiding the faces. You blur them out. You can see the index is low. Handsome guy in a mask. Not creepy at all. Your name is Antoinette. You look like a dude. Antoinette's a girl's name. I'm <laughs> just saying. Um, wow. This week's projects, I haven't missed a lot because they've all been other rubbish. Mers second edition featuring Hope for Justice, but whatever that means, by Zach Merzadet. It's a second deck, I do recall seeing the first one. It is 85% funded, 24 days ago. This one actually has a chance of funding. Um, it's chained off for some reason. Free seven fierce backers, only five bucks for international backers, yay. Uh, thirteen bucks for one deck. Standard USB C faces, but pixelated queens, custom jokers, and two custom ad cards. Not one, but two. Uh, interesting tuckers, looks like it has foil. 
padlock on one side, some kind of a bird on the other. After Kickstarter, all proceeds will go to fight human trafficking. Sounds like a no-no to me. As long as Kickstarter project is on, that's donating proceeds. Um, it's a very simple bat design of a bird. Nothing like I ever called the woods on one beam. The, the, the Joker is alright. Custom. Nice tuck case. Uh, like I said, the court guards are static, but they've been pixelated faces. It's a teeny bit. It's kind of annoying, quite frankly. There's a stretch goal. It's another deck. It's just saying. <laughs> um, but they're only going to reveal that once they fund. Anyway, so, yeah. I'm not really feeling that one. Far, Farvings by DLC Card Company is 73% funded. 22 days to go. I don't even want to know. Can't even fathom what this might be. <laughs> Boy, have I not missed a whole lot. <laughs> um, it's the first product as well. How oh, fantastic. Um, 10 pounds for one deck. And it's got custom jokers. Custom bat design where it's it's a big wheel bike, whatever you call those bikes. Similar to some classic bicycle decks. And you got another bike, you got one of the bikes on a Joker, the other Joker is a lamppost. How exciting. And then the rest kind of kills the 40. Kind of a classic looking, traditional looking, you know, bat design. The Jokers are okay. The Ace of Spades is the lamppost. Mate, okay, Spade Pip. Hearts and diamonds are in gold for some reason. The diamond, I don't even, what is it? Looks like some kind of a bird flying, maybe. I really don't know. And then, same with the Ace of Hearts, looks like a bird of some sort. Or a guy with a cape. <laughs> and then, uh, the Ace of Clubs is like a dagger, like a, I don't know, arrowhead, daggerhead, something. Really don't know. The court cards. A little bit goofy looking, the mouse particularly, and the eyes. Not really feeling those pips at all, or the colors. The, the King of Diamonds, it looks like a ripoff of uh, Daniel Madison, just saying. There's the Queens. And there's the Jacks. I am not feeling those court cards at all. They also feel like they could have been made a hell of a lot bigger. Fill in the space. It's a lot of space around the, the faces. Um, they're trying to help people, you know, gain confidence to perform magic and stuff like that. But this is not a deck for performing, in my opinion. It's just it's not. If you're going to perform magic, you want a deck. That has familiar looking faces that people can identify very easily. Not faces that people have to kind of go, hmm, what is that? Oh, I see, that's what that is. <laughs> it just, that's just me. Um, also, people, when they see a deck that's custom, this they may tend to think, oh, it's gonna, it's got to have some markings or something weird going on with it. Standard decks are always the best for performing, and that's why magicians generally use those. Anyway, um, not really feeling this. And oh yeah, it is Daniel Madison. It has to be Daniel Madison because he is fake Daniel Madison. And yes, he was the only person to use him, so. Okay. Second Saint is Scarlet. Don't know who that is. And then there's another guy. Doesn't say. I guess it's cardboard that it's printed in. They may have print delay. Other than that, it doesn't need to get over the funding line. 
No, it is always is always potential for issues like farvings. What what the hell is a farving? Anyway, moving on, we got Addy Jux point guards by Matt Fox. Might have looked at this one before, might have mentioned it at least. Um feels like I might have. That I just looked at it before on uh, my free my spare time, I guess. Um, it is 76% for 22 days to go. Yeah. It's a bunch of writing on the bat design in different colors with a multicolored border. Very one way. I don't even know what the writing says. I think it says AEX, but I'm not 100% sure. So ADE? So AED, is it? Or is it AX? I, I really don't know. <laughs> um, it just looks like a bunch of scribbles to me. 15 bucks US for one deck. Pass. <laughs> for me, it's a pass. Uh, where's that? Whatever that is. It's a joker, apparently. The Ace of Spades. Lovely. 80 ducks. It's an ad card. And court cards. They're standard. They've been recolored for a multicolored border. Pink for the Hearts and Diamonds. Blue for the Spades and Clubs. They've kind of simplified the artwork on the standard court card and recolored it. And they've also erased the faces. Faceless faces. The tough case, by the way, this does not look good, in my opinion. To be printed by USB-C, there is a chance it funds. We'll keep an eye on it, obviously. See what happens. Next up, Chinese Blush Pen Style Playing Cards by Lao Yin San. Now, again... Just, you know, a little grammar thing. You should use capital letters on all, on all these words, not in little, little letters. It's if your name, but maybe it's a Hong Kong spelling thing. I don't know. 74% funded five days ago. May or may not have looked at this one before. I feel like I have looked at these. Um, it's, I really like, not feeling about design. Tough case as well. Not really feeling any of it, personally. Uh, the, oh yeah, the, the court cards are just giant pips with Japanese symbols. Me, that, as it says right there, that means the Chinese queen, that means the Chinese guardian, and this, obviously, the Chinese king. And then the jokers, which means the Chinese monster, and ghost. And the ace means god. I didn't know the Chinese had a god. And, yeah. I like the thoughts. I'm just not really feeling the bad design, which is a one-way bad design from what I can tell. And I'm not feeling all these extra colors, which they're not going to hit anyway. And it's also a terribly low goal with no mention of who's printing it. Then there's Calteri Anomalous, art point guards by Jack Brutus Penny. It's 88% from the 20 days to go. Oh my god, so many decks this week, this last couple of weeks. Um, 25 bucks US for, or 25 bucks Canadian for one deck, which is what? 18 bucks US? No, thank you. Um, each card has indexes on it. They're not the same color as you can see, like, you got diamonds in red, you also got this diamond in white. The pips, the index, blends into the faces, which makes it really difficult to identify what is what. Not to mention, like I said, there's no... Uh, they're not the same colors or anything like that for the indexes throughout. And it also looks like some of the numbers are bigger than the others. There's also no space between the pip and the, the number or the letter. Uh, I do like that the, you know, court cards all make one image. But I would have preferred them to do different colors so that the pips, the index, stands out. Me to just blend together way too much. Makes it really hard to read. And I'm not feeling it. I don't even know what... See the back design? Okay. Uh, apparently that guy inspired that apparently is a dog. It's interesting. 
I'm gonna be some writing on a couple cards. I okay, I guess this is the bat design. Mary Image floral. It's fine for what it is. It's not Mary Image, because there's like a person walking a dog in the center. And other details that don't exactly appear Mary Image necessarily. Potentially. I think it is except for the center part. Mirror image. And it's four different animal suits. Um, I don't believe it says who's producing them. It does. My apologies, uh, apologies for missing that, but I don't see it. It's not a bad idea, it's just not really done all that well. Then we got a horrible deck. I'm a Twisted Poker, and whatever it is in Japanese, by Board Game Taylor. One! One percent funded. Whole one percent funded. Night needs to go. Chances of funding, pfft, non-existent. <laughs> um, they could have 65 days. It's not gonna fund. It's basically a bunch of clowns on the faces. <laughs> Uh, what is it? $20,000 Hong Kong goal, which is over this over. Basically, what is it? $2,800 US, $2,500 US. Um, really goofy looking. A lot of writing in Japanese. It's 8 bucks Canadian for one deck, so at least the price is good. A little too good. It's gonna be made in China or something. The back design, very one way with a clown face on it in red and blue and white. And yay! And look at that, there's a. It's a truth for a dare poker, so there's dares. Or a truth. Do it! Give a French kiss to the wall for 10 seconds. Really? Sarah with us? My dream for three minutes. Really? You want people to give a three minute speech on what their dream is. <laughs> it's just a silly deck all around. Pretty horrible. I don't think anyone's that interested. Clearly, nobody is interested. Um, Voyager playing cards. Waterproof playing cards by Justin Scott is 14% funded. 16 days to go. It is not going to happen. It's a very simple nautical themed deck with a boat on the back design as well as some octopus. Very generic Ace of Spades. Basically it's a bicycle Ace of Spades but they've deleted the Liberty Lady in the center. The Ace of Spades says Vok for some reason. Whatever Vok means. <laughs> Say Voyager or something like I understand the V, but what the, why the hell is it an OC? It's 13 bucks on the early bird. It's pretty horrible that there's still early birds available this far into the campaign. That design is fine. It's simple. Kind of classic looking. There's also a compass thing in the center. For WE for Western East, which makes it a one-way back design. Um... Time squid. Now it says here it's plastic, but 0.3 millimeter PVC, extremely durable. Apparently, it also can do a ferro suffer, which I really don't believe. <laughs> They're gonna be, let's see, it celebrates the historic rise and fall, the largest maritime business ever, the Dutch East India Trading Company. Oh, I see, commonly referred to as the VOC. Got it. <laughs> I do like the faces, they modified the faces from standard faces with pirate type themes. That's the base of spades. Um, obviously it's waterproof plastic playing cards. So you can play with them in the pool, the boat, the tub, the rain, beach, anywhere there is water. Even underwater. <laughs> And you can see what they do with their faces. I do like the faces. I do like the court cards. The back design is alright. A little bit generic, but alright. The Ace of Spades, Ace of Spades is absolutely generic. 
and lackluster. And the Jokers, they're okay. I just don't believe these cards are going to handle that well. I don't see he's producing them. And, I mean, I guess we'll see. Apparently, they're planning to have these sipping the backers in October. Yeah, we'll see about that. Moving on. I mean, it's not going to fund anyway. We have Merlin Illuminations by Art Playing Cards and uh, Dent de Leon, the movie, whatever his name was. It's funded 14 days to go. Good stuff, I suppose. We'll see what the cards look like. I've seen them before myself. Also, the guy's daughter, Soleil, just celebrated her 30th birthday, so happy birthday to her. Um, Tent to Leon the Midi, right. Um, let's just see. I do like Merlin. I like that story. 14, no, 19 bucks Canadian. Which, you know, whatever that is. 12, 13 bucks US. It's fine. Interesting looking tough case. Interesting bat design with that sword of uh, King Arthur. I guess it is. Pretty cool looking bat design. Do like that. The Aces. That's the Ace of Spades. It doesn't have an index to it. It doesn't even look like an Ace of Spades. It's an. It's a. Court card, if anything. Really? Where's the index? The court cards, they look like golden busts of different figures. Like there's a uh, Ethel Ten Dragon. The index, again, kind of, well, it's in that seal, which is kind of cool. It's, uh, it's alright, it, it, it makes sense, it fits, it's pretty interesting. I'm just not sure how this three dimensional, and this is full 8K resolution. Wow. I, I don't know how this is going to look on a playing card. I do not think it's going to look that good at all. <laughs> um, the three-dimensional type thing. And you see other figures, Guinevere, Galahad. I like the idea. I like the thought. I do like the deck and the theme and the bat design. But I, I think that... To actually use actual figures as opposed to like gold and silver busts of the figures, it might look better. Nice pips. You know, this is one of those wait and see type of things. I'll get it later <laughs> if it funds. And quite frankly, I'm not really liking what I see of the Ace of Spades. It needs to have indexes, in my opinion. Let's see something I saw here. Oh yes, you can see the previous decks of Leonardo's. Um, <coughs> that sun, I think it was the moon one. I did not get that sun and the moon ones. I didn't get. Might still get those eventually. It is funded. Like I said, I'll think about getting that one later on. And then, that's it for new stuff, I think. We got the Bicycle Limited Distance City Skylines Chicago by Mike. Gwistalil. It's funded. Eight days to go. Zodiac by 14 opponent cards is funded. Seven days to go. Convolution by Kyle is 0% funded. 37 days to go. Zero chance of funding. Vertex playing card by Jtrix. 26% funded. Seven days to go. Don't think it's going to happen. Probably, uh, highly unlikely. Vart Clans illustrated playing cards by Blakey Davis. It's funded, six days to go. Eh, it's an interesting looking deck, I suppose. I can recall. I don't know why everyone's trying to break Kickstarter. It's already broken enough as it is. Invasion Blood Edition by Rattle Cell is funded, ten days to go. Oh my goodness, the Fart of War. Journey Playing Cards by Macros of Black. 5% funded, five days to go, no tanks. That one's gonna happen. Mahong playing cards by Kyle and Friends. 9% funded, 24 days to go. I don't think it's something people want on playing cards. It's just weird. It's not going to fund. 
Singularity of point guards, black and white, by relativity of point guards, 51% fine, 14 ACO, I don't see it happening. Charm colors, family edition by Maggie the Vera, slash the Vera text team, 9% fine, 7 ACO, not going to happen. Maserata, relaunched by Emmanuel Valtiera, has funded 3 days to go, I'm happy to see that. Dance of Death point guards, all 3 decks by Sergei. Funded, 15 hours to go. Perplexity point cards. Limited edition by Tenth Dimension Productions. 7% funded, 5 hours to go. Once again, not going to happen. It's going to be done by the time this video is up. Different tarot decks. That is it. For Kickstarter. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, so the other decks are funded. Neat. So basically, this whole time I was away, Kickstarter went to shit when it comes to point card projects. It's just mostly terrible. A couple of good ones, like the Emperor, I think, when that's a juice joint is alright. And, and then the rest are just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, that is it for Kickstarter. Kind of a short video, but that's good. Well, not really sort, but sort of unusual. I'm going to do another one once I see what else is going on in the world of point cards. Stay tuned for that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.